Hello and welcome to CSIT 316, Web Development Using Content Management System. My name is Michael Agbutetisoli and I'll be your instructor for this course. We'll start off with the first session, which is an introduction to content management systems. This session will introduce the concept of content management systems. We'll also show you how they work and then the various benefits that is derived from utilizing content management systems. Now, after completing this session, you should be able to do the following. Explain what a content management system is. You should be able to describe the two main elements of a CMS. And CMS is the short for content management system. So as we go along, I'll be using CMS instead of content management systems. You should also be able to describe the features of a CMS, understand how CMSs work, and also identify the benefits of using a CMS. I hope these objectives are clear. Let's go on. We'll look at some basic terminology, example of CMSs, elements of a CMS, features of a CMS, how CMS work, and then the benefits of using content management systems. Now, students may refer to the handout for this session displayed on the final slide. So when we get to the final slide, we are going to display the handout that is being used for the session. So we start off with some basic terminology. First of all, we start off with content. We need to know what content is. Now, content is, in essence, any type or unit of digital information that is used to populate a web page. Now, this can be in the form of text, images, graphics, video, sound, and what have you. Content management is the strategy and technology of storing and indexing information from and about analog or digital media. So basically, the management of content. Now, content management contributes to the effective management of various kinds of content by combining the following things, rules, processes, and workflows in a way that centralized and decentralized web authors or editors can create, edit, manage, and publish all the content of a web page. Now, content is managed within a repository that consists of a database of records as well as files containing the content component plus administrative data. Now, content management system is a system used to manage content, typically for a website. Now, we will call it a web content management system because we are going to be dealing with the web in this course. Now, we look at some examples of content management systems. Now, there are some very popular ones out there, and these are a few. WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Expression Engine, Text Pattern, Radiant CMS, and Cushy CMS. Now, generally, a CMS consists of two main elements. We have the content management application, which is the CMA and then the content delivery application. So let's look at what the CMA is, which is the content management application. Now it is the front end user interface and it allows the user, even with limited experience, to add, modify, and remove content from a website without needing the expertise of a webmaster. So it makes the work very, very simple. Now content delivery application compiles the information and updates the website. So these are the two main elements of a content management system. Now, the features of a CMS vary, but most of them include the following. Web-based publishing. The web-based publishing feature allows individuals to use a template or templates approved by an organization, as well as wizards and other tools to create and or modify web content. Now, the second feature we are going to look at is the format management. Now, the format management feature allows documents to be formatted into HTML or PDF for websites. We also go ahead to look at revision control, which is another feature of a CMS. Now, the revision control feature allows content to be updated to newer versions or restored to a previous version if need be. Revision control can also track any changes made to files by individuals. We go on to the next feature, which is indexing. 
Now a CMS indexes all the data within an organization. Search and retrieval is another feature of a CMS and individuals can search and retrieve data using keywords. We move on to the next subtopic, which is how content management systems work. We have seen what content management systems are, we've seen some examples, and now we go on to look at how they work. A content management system can be broken down into four main categories by function. So the categorization is done according to the functions. Now we have the content collection or authoring, we have storage or management, we have workflows, and then we have publishing. So we'll take one after the other. We start off with a collection and authoring. So the collection system includes the tools, procedures, and staff that are employed to gather the content. Now the process consists of adding new components to the existing repository. We move on to the management. The management system is the repository housing all the content and the metadata information as well as the one providing the processes and the tools needed to access and manage the collected content and metadata information. We take a look at workflows. The workflow system includes all the tools and procedures that assure that the entire process of collection, storage, and publication runs effectively. The workflow system sets and manages the chain of events around collecting, storing, in a repository and publishing the content. Content publishing is the last one we're going to look at and is the process through which content is drawn out of a repository and formatted into websites, web services, and other publications. So this figure describes a content management system and then we see how they work. So we have the host that contributes to this. We have the host that administer the content in the content management system and then publishing of the services as well as collection of services. So this diagram describes the whole content management system. Now we go on to look at the benefits of using a content management system. So now we're going to look at the benefits of content management systems. Now, a content management system will help organize, automate the collection, management, and publishing process. Now, the following lists some of the benefits provided by a CMS. The first one is that we have fresh, consistent, and high-quality information. Then we are able to reuse content. Then we are able to enhance productivity. Now, we have the competitive advantage using a content management system. Now, as we mentioned from the first slide, the reference for this particular session is TreeWorks Content Management System 2008. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next session.